traders. Uh, I am Stephen Davis, Senior Market Strategist, RJO Futures, downtown Chicago. Friday, April 8th, here to talk to you about commodities, the grain markets in particular. Corn market, we've got that March 31st planning intention report out of the way last week. It was bearish corn. That low has not been taken out, so be aware of that. Two things, two headwinds here in the corn market. Number one, these corn acres that are going to be planted. This will be the third largest crop ever in the history of the USA, if this plays out the way it was said last week. And number two, China's corn policy recently announced. That China's corn policy, this works its way through a lot of different commodity markets. So these are two headwinds going forward. This could be the third biggest crop corn crop since 1944 in the USA and the biggest since 1944 excuse me for that so exports are important for corn they're pretty good we need them to continue to be very good uh, going forward here the corn soybean ratio now favors planting a soybean versus corn soybeans had this very big rally here is gonna buy some acres from corn and we'll find out how much here in the weeks ahead certainly in Louisiana where they just had a deluge of rain there's going to be soybean acres planted at the expense of corn acres so we'll keep talking about that uh, soybean market our chart here today soybean held perfectly at the 200 day moving average here take a look at that chart so veteran traders will tell you not to be short this time of the year that's what the funds have done here they were short soybeans they're now long so we got to wait and see how this planning plays out so soybean market held exactly the way they were supposed to this week according to my analysis palm oil market I've been talking about it palm oil is the most um, actively traded vegetable oil in the world today. I mean, you think about it, you know, olive oil, it's in all of our diets. It's something that the consumer wants. So a very actively traded contract. The weather has played havoc on Malaysia palm oil production. And the Malaysian palm oil board is going to come out with production here for the month of March, Sunday night. So stay tuned about that. We'll talk a little further next week on that. Speaking of China and the consumer, uh, Financial Times out this week, a study from McKinsey saying that Chinese consumer spending is going to explode here in the years ahead. Well, the next 10 years, maybe it's going to be three times what it is today. So keep in mind, consumer spending here in USA, it's two-thirds of GDP in USA. So the China consumer getting ready to spend, what's he going to buy? He's going to buy steak and hamburgers just like the Americans buy and put bacon on those hamburgers. So this is a big story going forward. We're going to keep talking about it. Uh, okay, it's a weekend coming up. It's not that big of a weather weekend, I don't think, like it's ahead of us here three, four, five weeks. So uh, I kind of think this Malaysia palm oil announcement Sunday night will uh, guide the markets early next week, and um, we'll talk to you next week. Everybody have an excellent weekend. Thank you. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.